Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this Easter series, we invite you to enjoy some interesting meal ideas for the Lenten season. And now, here's today's host. Welcome to Creative Cooking. My special guest is Mrs. Paulette Roden. Mrs. Paulette Roden is a director of Crimson Lawn Limited and a mentor to the Grace Kitchens team over a number of years. It is indeed my pleasure to have you on the program it's again. It's nice to be here, Mrs. What are you cooking for us today? Today, we are going to demonstrate the new product from Grace, yes. Earth Chef, Chef right. products. Right. It's an exciting time for the uh, housewives sure. because this product is cholesterol free, yes. it's fat free, yes. low carbohydrate and high protein. And we know it's quick and easy to prepare. Very right? quick and easy. Okay. It's, so we are going to do veggie burgers, mm -hmm. gypsy style. This is what the product looks like in the package. I'm sure a lot of people are seeing them in the supermarket and they're wondering what um, is in the package. So we're going to show you today. It's very quick. You actually can come in from work and in a few minutes, you have the meal on the thing. A dried product. It's a dried product. And this product here will be rehydrated with two cups of water. And that, is that boiling water? It's boiling water. I have done one set so that we can move a little faster in the kitchen. Because we are using the veggie mints, it has no flavored package. And we're going to put a little bit of oil, about, you can use about a tablespoon of grace oil and that will help you. Now, we, we're going to be using the products of garlic, onion, scallion, green peppers, tomatoes, scotch bonnet. And it's best to always start with your garlic because the garlic, you want to flavor the oil very quickly, you know. and. In this, in this, we can put everything in. As you notice, we're getting a very nice combination of colors here. Mm -hmm. You can't ask for more. Now, the pepper, you have to watch a little bit because it depends on how the person would like. And the people we're feeding to, right? We're feeding. This is really good, as I said before, because what happens is that most people, the minute they go to the doctor and the doctor says, okay, gentlemen, too much cholesterol, the first thing they think of in their mind, no more hamburgers, no more fried chicken. This will be even more delicious than what you are normally experiencing. We emphasize that, that, that vegemins has no cholesterol. No cholesterol. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's almost like you have bought grounded beef, grounded beef from the supermarket. We're using some grace ketchup and we're going to make it nice and flavorful. And flavorful. You want to just quickly stir fry it and let it simmer a little bit. I'm the putting a well. vegetable stock in it because okay. the, the, the key to this is to really cook down your um, Vegemins. Vegemins, so that it really is juicy. It's it's looking quite good as you can see. Very colorful and it's ready. Now this is the same product that has been seasoned. Um, seasoned. Yes. So that was cooked before and allowed to cool, right? Yes, because you you know it's a bit difficult to, to work, handle it, right? work with it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of ketchup for coloring in it. Yeah. And then I'm going to put the products some. Irish potatoes that have been boiled and crushed because this will give your your burgers a little bit of um, body. body. Yes. So it will help it to hold together. To hold together. And we're going to bind it with oats. Oats is an excellent binding product and guess what? Excellent it's source of fiber. Yeah. Fiber yeah. and low cholesterol. Now we're going to add some breadcrumbs. You know, Mrs. Um, Roden, a number of my friends have tasted the, um, the, the vegemins and they have said, you know, they can't believe that vegemins could taste this good. We're also going to need some flour. Yeah, so it helps to bind too, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you shape into a ball and then you... We, we shape into a ball and then you flour it, but you knock 
Pork the flour, excess, right? excess. Always test your burger first, yeah. you know, to make sure that you're getting, um, it's going to hold together because you don't really want them breaking up Not at all. In, 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 mm -hmm. in the pan. This what we have done in the pack actually can give you anywhere up to 10 or 12 burgers. If you have some friends in or uh, ve uh, vegetarians coming to visit, don't mm -hmm. panic. Just get a pack of the Grace Earth, Earth, Earth Chef, Chef and products. we're using and, the vegemins. Right? And you, you, we're using the vegemins. Right. I think you could turn this on. We know you couldn't wait that long for all the burgers to be ready, so Mrs. Roden went ahead of time and prepared prepared you did about three eh? yes I did four I'm going to show you that's uh, a dish that you'll be putting on the table for your family I am just going to put this on the side mm -hmm. and I'm going to make your gypsy sauce I'll just use a little bit of the oil that not is more here. than a tablespoon not more than a tablespoon you need. there is your your onion your tomatoes. So basically what you were using before in your seasoning, you're now going to use as your gypsy sauce. sauce. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, just a, the colors alone will excite the children. Mm -hmm. And you won't have to be saying, eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables. They will actually be saying to you, mom, can I have some more of that? We're going to put a little tip of black pepper. Okay. Or you can use a white pepper if you want, right? If you wish to just put a pinch of salt because some you don't want to restrict them. I would so like the gypsy to... style of cooking has been translated in this dish, eh? Yes. Yeah, they're it's using Mediterranean. Mediterranean style, so they're using the tomatoes. And now we're going to put some oregano. Herb that that's what dishes. the gypsies use a lot of. Right. Right. So. Mm -hmm. I've put a little scotch bonnet to spice it up. You could use the grace products of garlic and pimento. Right. Last but not least, we're putting in our corn. Now, Maisie, if you would just give us a little tip of your ketchup to just give that. This will do, right? Yes. You just want to add a little, really. And that's ready to be served, eh? Yes. So that's, so, a, that's a single serving. That's a single, single serving. serving. So can you imagine your husband comes home and he's lamenting that he can't eat any more burgers or anything, and you give him this nice mm -hmm. sup surprise. It's There's a served, treat in store for him, right? It's served with some coleslaw. Yes. So he has everything that he normally would get by going to one of the fast food um, entities. Earth Chef Vegemins. And we remind you what it can do because Earth. you can make beef balls, you can make hamburgers, you can do pizzas. You chili can do con carne. Chili con carne. Yes, you can do a red lasagna. Oh, yes, lasagna. Or you can that. do a shepherd's pie. Or a shepherd's pie. These are just few of the many dishes that Earth Chef Vegemins may be used in. Mrs. Lerodin, it was indeed my pleasure to be in the kitchen with you. Um, you have always shared your creativity with us and we really want to thank you. Can Maybe we invite you to come again? Yes, okay. it will be our pleasure. We hope you enjoyed today's creative cooking show. A great tasting meal for the Lenten season. Join us again next Monday morning at 7.35 on Smile Jamaica It's Morning Time for Creative Cooking.